वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टीचिंग यू द ब्लिंक आई ओ टी क्लाउड सर्वर हाउ यू कैन यूज़ इट विद ई एस पी एटी टू सिक्सटी सिक्स और ई एस पी थर्टी टू यू कैन यूज़ अन अनदर अदर वाई फाई चिप्स एज वेल इफ़ यू वॉन्ट दैट आर अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट बट आई विल बी यूजिंग दिस ई एस पी एटी टू सिक्सटी सिक्स एंड आई ऑलरेडी मेड अ वीडियो अबाउट इट हाउ यू कैन कंट्रोल दिस एल ई डी ऑन बोर्ड एल ई डी बट टूडे आई विल बी मेकिंग ए क्विक स्टार्ट गाइड which is for the new people who are coming to this platform and this video is really gonna help you so let's get started i will take you to the dashboard and i will show it to you how you can uh, perform these steps and uh, let's get started okay that's the website of uh, dashboard you can go there and uh, you will see there are zero devices you have nothing to do at this moment but uh, if you want to uh, quick start uh, quickly start this uh, making project with this you can go to this button you can see that blink blink tour but uh, you do not have to click on it but you need to connect on, uh, uh, click on this quick start button as you can see the quick start guide will you the step by side gui uh, guide to the first device on uh, your first device online and start controlling it from anywhere in the world less than 5 minutes so that's how you can uh, the supportive hardware click on the list here there are different list of the uh, hardware that are uh, compatible to this and arduino ide and blink library you need to install it and it will be beneficial for you if you already upload how to uh, know how to upload the code you need to know of course it's easy thing to do just click and the uh, code will upload it to your uh, esp8266 or an arduino board create your first device in a blink cloud and prepare the firmware and upload it to your uh, device and see your device online control it from blink console and blink apps so let's click on let's go and here you can see choose the hardware so i will be choosing this esp8266 but you can use esp32 micro bit board available and uh, lentronics fox 3 micro duino and onion omega and particle these are the compatible uh, hardware that are available so click on this esp8266 and connection type will be wifi and then click on next and after that you need to use this uh, arduino ide just click on next again and uh, here it, it is telling us that go to the arduino tools manage library search blink here blink there and choose the latest version of and install library the tools manage libraries and you can search the it's also showing us this a screenshot so on mac and pc it will be the same process there is nothing uh, difference between that and click on next and here you will see that you have the code just copy that code or copy this code or you can download as a file but there is a thing one thing that you need to remember that authentication code yours will be different your device name will be different and this uh, template id will be different okay but uh, here you have to make these changes that we have this ssid and password okay so right now what you have to do is to add a wifi password here ssid and password you can type it later when you download this uh, file from here or otherwise you can just uh, type right here the password and uh, user, uh, username and password but i will just do that but uh, let me show you how it will works i will type the name here and password here so you will see it will automatically update in the code as you can see the wifi ssid name is changed i will also type the password so that's the password it's already uploaded uh, updated into the code so let's just uh, download this code when you are done downloading with it just open it and now you have to do what you have to do is to connect this node mcu with your pc or laptop so i will just connect it 
right here as you can see so then I will upload the code into it and you will see that uh, this is uh, working and uh, it's not that difficult you need to just upload the code and right now when you will upload the code you will see the party poppers like this and uh, it will come from both sides and it will then you pop up from the screen so the code is almost uploading and I will show it to you as you can see when our device will come online the screen will tell us that our device is online and you will see the party will pop up here As you can see the party popper like come from the both side of the screen and that's how it is, tell us, it is telling us that your device is online time to push some buttons go to the device dashboard and control it from the web and the mobile phone let's go to the dashboard and here you can see the button control and switch value and uptime and uptime is 30 seconds uh, and it is updating every second because it, uh, the time is telling us in uh, seconds and the switch value when I will uh, uh, turn on this button the switch value become 1 and when I turn it off it will become 0 again ok as you can see 1 and now it's 0 that's how you can quickly start up with this uh, node MCU on uh, blink IoT server and uh, keep watching and subscribe my channel and wait for further tutorials